Connecting Edis 4 to your Mega Squirt 4 idiots. Edis stands for Electronic Distributors Ignition System. Edis was developed by Ford Motor Company for use on production cars back in the 90s. The number that follows indicates how many cylinders the system was designed for. 4 is 4 cylinder, 6 is 6 cylinder, and 8 is... you get the idea. This video focuses on Edis 4. The other systems are similar with only minor differences. Right then, let's get started. Look here, this is how you locate pin 1. Got it? And this is how the module is numbered. Seems easy enough. Pin 1 is PIP, Profile Ignition Pickup. This pin sends a tack signal to the Mega Squirt. Pin 2 is no connection, perfect for you lazy sods. Pin 3 is SOAR, Spark Angle Word. Or in other words, this pin receives a timed pulse from the Mega Squirt and triggers the coils to spark. Pin 4 is no connection. Pin 5 connects to the negative side of the crank position sensor. Pin 6 connects to the positive side of the crank position sensor. Pin 7 is the shield. You want to lie all your shield leads here. Pin 8 is switch 12 volts from the main relay. A lot of power goes through this pin and the feed should be able to handle 15 amps. Pin 9 is ground. Connect this pin directly to the engine block or cylinder head. Don't be a wanker and connect it to the chassis ground. Pin 10 goes to the coil pack terminal 1. Pin 11 is no connection. And finally, pin 12 connects to the coil pack terminal 3. This is what the EDIS connector looks like. You cannot buy these new and should salvage this bit from the scrapyard or you can sometimes get them on eBay. Try not to get a manky one with short wires. You'll thank me later. This is another view of the connector. If you can read, I'll save my breath. This is the business end of the EDIS coil pack. Pin 1 and 3 connect to the EDIS module. We've already covered that. Pin 2 is switched 12 volts and needs to be connected to the main relay. Pin 2 is going to draw lots of power and the feed should be capable of 15 amps or more. And now the crank position sensor. The EDIS module is expecting a VR type signal. So any VR type sensor should work. I have had good results with a common sensor used in many General Motors cars. I especially like this one because it's easy to mount. Mounting the sensor to your application can be simplified with this cheap but effective holder. You can get these from McMaster and Carr for a few quid. Pause the video and write the part number down. The holder looks like this when you open the package. Clever mugshot of how the sensor fits in the holder. Another reason I like to use the cheapo General Motors crank position sensor is the availability of the connector from various online sources. And finally, EDIS 36-1 crank wheel. This is a generic wheel that I found on eBay. As I recall, it was $32 and change. Keep in mind, it may take a fair bit of fabrication to mount this to your engine. If you are lucky, you may find one specifically engineered for your application. Honestly, that's going to be your problem to deal with. Seems a bit dodgy, but here is the missing tooth. With the EDIS 4, the crank position sensor needs to be located 9 teeth counterclockwise of the missing tooth. This is of course with the engine at top dead center. Got it? Right then, let's move along. The Mega Squirt. Just a few things to note. PIP is connected to pin 25 on the Mega Squirt. Keep in mind that no pull up resistor is required. And for the idiots. Do not use a pull-up resistor. Saw is connected to pin 36 on the Mega Squirt. Let's review. I'll shut my pie hole while you watch. Got all that? Let me play it again a tad bit slower.
Right then, let's move on to Tuna Studio. Hopefully you have the latest license release. If not, go ahead and download it. Click on Ignition Settings. Next, click on Ignition Options and Wheel Decoder. In the upper left where it says Spark Mode, select EDIS. All the default parameters will automatically load. And that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project. End.